Hello everyone, hi, and welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Danielle. I have made one other haul video for YouTube, and this was like five years ago. So basically this is my first haul video, but I wanted to make one because I don't have anyone else to share all my cool finds with. Um, I'm a part-time reseller and I love it. I love the hunt. I love digging through the bins, AKA the Goodwill outlet. That's where I source almost everything that I resell. Um, I resell on eBay and Poshmark at the moment. And yeah, it's just a little side thing that I really like to do. Um, I spend a lot of my time watching haul videos. So I thought, why not make one of my own? Let's give this another go. Um, so I have a haul today from the outlet. And this is from like, I want to say two weeks ago. So basically, I have no idea what's in these bags. I, I forgot completely what I got. So this is going to be new, new stuff for me and for you. Um, I've been reselling for about five years and my business model now, I guess, is to buy low and flip high. Isn't that everyone's business model? <laughs> but basically I don't want to waste my time buying things that are going to flip for $10, $15. My goal is to at least make 20, 25 per item. Um, that's my goal. My average sale price goal is 20 to 25, um, or higher. Higher is nice, right? So let's get into it. I have a full Ikea bag. Hello. And then I have a smaller one. I think these are just shoes. So let's see, let's start with the shoes. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Um, this is my first haul in a while, like I just said, so please bear with me. Um, these are some Hoka's. They need a good clean. And I realized um, while checking out that the sole or the, the heel has some wear. There are also no insoles in these. So I'm gonna keep them for myself. They're my size, so I'm gonna try them out. I'm trying to be a runner, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm trying really hard. So I'm hoping that these will help me um, want to run a little bit. They are a little beat up. You know what, now that I'm looking at it, I probably wouldn't have resold these anyway. So these are just a little practice, practice trial for me until I want to buy a brand new pair for my own if I like them. These are basically brand new Burks. Look at that. Clean, clean. Um, man, I wish these were my size. <laughs> Tries them on real quick. No. Um, yes, super cute Burks. These were all at the outlet, so I want to say I paid maybe two bucks for these. Very nice. Some sandals. These were, you know, it's fall now, but you never know, someone might be going on vacation or they might just live in a place that's sunny all the time. Unlike me, I'm in the Pacific Northwest, so it's sweater weather. Um, these are some Madewell, looks like Gladiator. Super cute. Maybe 25 to 30 for these. I'm gonna kind of give ballpark estimates of what I think I will get for these items. I haven't really done, I forgot, yeah, I forgot what I got. Um, so I don't know exactly what I'm gonna list them for or what they, the average sell price is, but I'll give kind of like a ballpark of what I think. Um, when I check out at the bins, I always go through my cart, make sure there's no flaws, you know, to the best of my ability. And then I will do, my research on eBay, um, looking at past solds um, in used condition. So, um, and then I'll look at the, how many have sold in the past 90 days. So the sell through rate is huge. I don't wanna be sitting on something for a long time. So that's another thing that I really consider when buying anything from the bins. Um, yeah, 
average sale price and then sell through rate. Those are my two things. These little climbing shoes are for kids. These do considerably well. Um, I've sold some climbing shoes, some women's climbing shoes in the past, and they sold within, I want to say like a week and a half. So I was very surprised. These are kiddos and I think they went for about 25 to 30 used. I have to do a little more research, but it is the Vibram sole, which is a good sign. Some kiddos shoes. Wow. I didn't mean to throw those down. I wish I had a little table. I don't have to bend over. Um, these are just some free people espadrilles. This is like a velvet and then they tie around the shin. So cute. Um, wow, I forgot I got these hokas too. These are in much better condition, much better. These are men's. They don't have an insole as well. I feel like that's just a running shoe thing. Maybe people take them out, but these are 11 and a half men's um, Hoka's. They're actually really nice condition. So this was a good sign. The last on the shoes are these cute little Tevas. Look at that. Look at that print. My daughter is watching some cartoons, so you might hear her. These are like basically brand new as well. Let's see if there's a Size. They are size seven. How adorable. Okay, now for the clothes. I have no idea what I got. This is going to be a surprise. Here we go. There could be some bad buys in here. There could be good. I really don't remember. These are some corduroy Levi's men's 510s. So I believe this is the slim straight leg, I want to say, but cords are, cords have a special place in my heart. I just love them. I can't leave them behind. Um, and it's fall. I, I think cords are great for a nice little fall staple piece. You know what I mean? Um, this is interesting. Oh, I got these for my daughter. These are just some little Hatley. I think this is just a boutique brand but they go for about 35, just some rain pants. So cute. Up next. Okay. Some of these I have no, I, they must, it must be good because that's why I picked it up. But this is a brand that I have no idea. Nux, Nux. Made in USA, just a legging with a cool, Paisley print at the bottom, seamless legging. I'm so curious what the comps are on all these things now because I don't remember. <laughs> okay, these are cool. These are just some vintage polo Ralph Lauren trousers. They're just a plaid trouser with the rolled cuff. So cool. Um, trousers are all the rage right now men and women, so, and especially vintage polo, Ralph Lauren. So cute. I would wear these actually if they were my size. These would be really cute with some Converse or some Vans and like a nice graphic tee. So those are nice. Um, let's keep track of how often I say cool, cute, awesome. Um, there's probably another one, but I say those, I say those things a lot. Um, this is a Helly Hansen, just a women's fleece pullover. This is a really nice brand. Um, retails for a lot of money. Resale value is actually pretty good. This specifically, I think was comping out at about 25 to 30. So not super high, but still a quick Quick flip, high sell through rate. Nice, can't complain. These are for my daughter as well. Little Powerpuff Girl pajama pants. <laughs> a lot of, so yeah, some of this stuff will be for me. Some of this stuff will be for resale. You'll just, you're just along for the ride. This is really cool. This is just a Led Zeppelin graphic tee. 
not vintage i wish i might keep this for myself if it fits me but if not it'll be up be a quick sell on poshmark it's just a super cute graphic i've never actually seen this print before but that one was fun to find this one is for me <laughs> this is my favorite show i will watch it over and over and over until i am in my grave um yeah just a nice little pajama shirt this is another heli henson this one is a fleece zip up it's a little bit softer a little more cozier this one again i believe was like 30 35 nice little jacket for the fall and winter this is for me as well maybe I don't know I don't I'm not sure what's going on here with the marks it's like a bleach mark or maybe a sun from the sun I'm not too sure but this would look cool tie-dyed like bleach dyed huh it is you know I don't exactly know what this tag is so if anyone knows in the comments please let me know um it's not vintage i don't know where it's from but i love a good band tee graphic tee that will probably be mine okay what is this <laughs> okay this is a j crew just a nice little one let's see if i can show this this is a one shoulder Ugh, jumpsuit cute this is let's see what the material is and when it was made maybe 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 not bear with me where are you on the pant maybe it's ripped out how come how come I want to know oh now it's stuck on me <laughs> okay um well it's an I I don't know what the material is I don't I can't think of it off the top of my head oh my gosh I found it five million years later okay this was holiday 2017 um triacetate tri tri wow i don't know what that is but it is a yeah a nice little holiday piece this would be so cute for the holidays in a warmer climate maybe <laughs> let's see what's this oh okay cool 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 nice little puppy dog shirt the mountain um comps on this were actually pretty good i mean maybe a quick 20 25 but the sell-through rate was super good for this brand they make all those crazy shirts with the different animals like all over or full print you know what i mean so yeah this is free people super boho i don't even know what this would be called it's just a really hippie, flowy lace dress. It's got the tiered. It's so cute. It's kind of like a soft pink, extra small. Yeah. Very cute. Very hippy dippy boho. This would have been perfect for the summer, but I'm sure somebody is still going to be able to love it and wear it now. I've got a loft. This is for me. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of selling loft. It just doesn't move very fast, so. But I love to wear it. It's a really good career, career wear. Um, these are Abercrombie & Fitch Ankle Straight Ultra High Rise. ANF is so cool again um i try to pick up the oh and it's curve love um 
these sold pretty well and they sold at a good a good pace you know sell through rate was good um and at a dollar dollar fifty you can't beat it so these are cute i'm getting text texted okay this is icelandic design these sweaters go for quite a bit so this is i want to say this is a silk nylon angoria so these sell between i want to say like 40 to 60 maybe even more depending on the print and the fabric content so this one it does have the silk in there um and because it's kind of like a cable knit red for christmas this might be a really fast seller um but i love picking up this brand i love buying it it's always sold so quickly for me I don't know if I should have picked this up or not. <laughs> I'm feeling like no, but this is just a polo, polo jeans co. I don't know if that's different from just polo Ralph Lauren, but it's just a striped baby doll polo, which are really cool right now. Not for me, but for other people. Um, so I thought I would pick it up and give it a try. We'll see about this one. I'm, not too sure about you <laughs> this one it's a pretty good children's clothing brand it's called primary this dress i think sold for about 15 so not super not a lot not anything to toot your horn over but um i've been kind of dabbling in kids clothes just picking up more, I don't know, like maybe bougie is the word, but um, yeah, this is 100% cotton, not organic, but I still think that it will sell pretty well. And it has pockets. What eight year old doesn't want pockets on their dress? All right, this is a Jan's World. It is a wrap skirt, I believe. Yes. Okay. So this is a nice little wrap skirt. These guys can go for quite a bit. This brand is all over the place. In my opinion, some items will sell crazy high and then some are just like me, 20, 25 bucks here or there. Um, it is a small, so I've noticed that larger sizes do better. And then they have the, what is it? Yeah. They have like the style and the print on the tag, which is always so nice. Um, Cause people look for specific prints, you know, they do better than others. So always, always look up the print and um, just kind of see if it's one of those super hot ones. So this is really cute, just a wrap skirt. So fresh. Um, we're about halfway. This is maybe for me. No, this is Jane and Delancey. I don't know exactly. Okay, there we go. Um, I just really liked the texture of this and the colors. I like the neutral tones. This won't fit me, sadly, so I'm going to sell it. That must be why it's in my bag. If it doesn't fit me, it, I must... It must be worth something. So we shall see how that one goes. These are uh, DL 1961. This is a pretty good brand to pick up. I've only sold women's. These are men's. So we will see how they do. I think comps were about 35 to 45, I want to say. Um, but yeah. Really nice jean, really well made. These ones are in really good condition. So I enjoy selling men's clothes because I don't know. It's just, it just seems so easy. And I feel like everything sells so quickly. This is a new to me brand um, made in Italy. And I believe it's cashmere. Hold on a second. 
I think I remember this. Yep, cashmere polyamide, like a blend. Okay, here's the tag. If I can get snazzy enough and kind of like edit my video to put up a comp, I'll try that. But if, if you don't see it here, then it means I tried and I failed and I may need to take a class. So I don't know what this goes for, but I have a feeling that it's pretty good. A, made in Italy, always, you know, a flag to, to look up comps. Um, and then B is cashmere. Cashmere always sells really well. Um, it's a high-end material, so you know to look it up. It has like this cute little gold thing on the back. <laughs> That's random. On the neck. Maybe. Huh. Okay, well this one, this will be fun to look up. I don't remember what the comps were on that one. This is Adidas, just like a a jersey dress. So like a women's jersey dress is what I want to call it. <laughs> I've never sold one of these before. Adidas kind of sits for me um, clothing wise, but looking up comps on this one, the sell through rate was, was pretty good actually. So I think this specific style may do a little bit better. I'm willing to um, take a chance and try it out for a dollar. I spent probably about a, a dollar on that. <laughs> and Taylor. Okay, this is just, okay, I don't really pick up Ann Taylor, but this is so cute. Just like the perfect career top. Look at the ruffle, the ruffle sleeve with the pearl button. Are you kidding me? Some schnazzy businesswoman is going to want to wear this. It's so cute. So that's why I picked this up. It's in really great condition. I don't even really know how much Ann Taylor sells for, honestly. Maybe, I don't want to, maybe I'll like 18 to 22, maybe. We'll see. But this is super cute. Good fall colors. What is this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? I think I got this for myself. Richard Allen H&M collab. I don't know who that is, but this is just a very like mod. I think it's a mock neck. Yep. It's just a nice little dress with the wide sleeve. I'm going to give it a try. It's kind of like a mini, mini dress. It's for me. This is for me too. This is another H&M, just a ribbed tank top. I'm gonna try that out. I have a problem with going to the bins. I mean, it's not really a problem because I'm saving so much money, right? But I literally can buy things like that and kind of keep it in my wardrobe for a few rotations. And then if I don't like it, then I just donate it again and I'm back at the bins and I can kind of find a couple more pieces to to add to my collection. That's really nice. This is a really good brand that I've never sold before, but redone. I'm sure you guys have heard of this brand before. These are just black button fly. Always nice. I love a good button fly. Raw hem skinny jeans. They look to be high rise. Very cute. I think the self are the, these are selling for a pretty good amount. I want to say like 45. Maybe even higher. I don't know. I think this is this was one of my most expensive things that I found. Or, you know, that I can sell for the most money. These are Citizens of Humanity. These are the, the premium vintage. So they're like the Levi's, I want to say. Yeah. So these, this is what it looks like. These Citizens of Humanity go for a little bit more than the regular Citizens of Humanity. These are so cute. Maybe these are one of the higher end too. Um, they're just a nice jean. They are the Cory Slouchy Slim, size 27. Um, yeah, I wanna say that the premium vintage, like. Levi's also has the premium vintage. I think it's just a recycled program where they use vintage denim to and turn it into new denim or new new jeans. 
Okay, we're almost done. These are some Prana shorts, men's Prana shorts. Here comes my special guest of the evening. Hi, ma'am. I not like the water. Okay, no problem. Like the water for me. Oh, yummy. I'm almost done and then I'll get you more water, okay? She doesn't like that water. Um, this is equipment, Equipmunk. That's a good brand. Do, do, do. I wonder what the material is. This needs a real good sweater shaving. This is wool cashmere, so very nice. Okay, yeah, I need to sweater shave the crap out of this, but once that's done, it's gonna be so nice. So primo, look at that weave on the bottom. It's really cute. Equipment is a great brand. The resale value is pretty good, especially, especially their silk blouses. Those do really great. Um, I just really love that brand. I can't even read what that is. I have no idea. I want to say it's a higher end brand. Vaquel Allegra. I'm, I could be saying that all wrong. Well, Allegra. I think this is a higher end brand that sells for quite a bit. This is just a maxi dress, a hooded maxi dress. It's gauzy, a little gauze action, which is all the rage right now. Just a long maxi dress. Really cute, actually. Gauze hood. Huh. I'm, I like don't even remember what the comps were on a lot of these because some of the new brands. Oh, there she is. <laughs> You're famous now. Are you famous? <laughs> okay, I'm almost done. I got two more, okay? No more, honey. I'll be right there. Okay. Okay, honey. Oh, what are you doing? Yeah, you need to be careful. Okay. Go watch your show. I'll be right out. Okay. Okay. Someone needed a moment. A moment to shine. Um, these are just some Prana women's. Prana. These need to be washed. Why did I? Why did I buy these? <laughs> Okay, they're in really good condition except for, let me show you, the whole, it looks like somebody sat in maybe like tree sap or something. That's what it looks like to me. Just hiking problems, you know? So, um, I'm going to give these a good wash. These don't go for very much and the, they're pretty saturated, but when I find them for a dollar, I... I'll price a little bit lower than what other people have them listed at, and then hopefully they, buy. Hopefully they will sell. I don't even know what these are. Oh, these are for my husband. <laughs> these are just Fabletics men's shorts. I thought he might like those. And the last thing is for me as well. <laughs> Welcome to my haul. This is just a free assembly. I've never heard of that brand, but I think it's a pretty good brand, but they don't sell very high. So this is for me. I guess I can show you a couple more things. I went to the regular Goodwill yesterday, so I want to show you those to end off my little haul video. This was really fun. I hope you enjoyed my first haul video. Um, I'm going to try to bring you guys along more because I feel like I want to share things with other resellers because I don't have anyone else that um, is interested or understands what it is to be a reseller and how you just want to share what you find and you want to share or you want to see what other people find and what they're flipping for and which brands to look out for and all that jazz. So. I think it'll feel really nice to be able to do haul videos and just kind of share that excitement with other people. Um, so if you like my video, 
I guess you're supposed to give it a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe. I think that's how this works. But I just came on here to share my stuff. So if you watched, thank you. If I didn't bore you, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's it. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to try to make more um, regardless of if anybody watches them because I like to share my finds. Okay. So these were, a f I found three things last night at the regular Goodwill. Regular is non-outlet Goodwill. So I paid $6.99 for these. These are standard James Purse. I haven't picked this brand up in a while. I used to... I used to flip this all the time when I would go to the outlet like five years ago, but I found that it was sitting a lot, but I was only picking up like their t-shirts, like their cotton t-shirts. So when I saw these, I thought that I would give them another try because I know that this is a popular brand and people love them. So these are a size four, which I think is equivalent to maybe an XL, a large, an XL. Um, they're just a nice pair of women's joggers. Let me see, what is the material? Viscose. So they're very lightweight, very airy. Um, yeah, very comfy pants. I'm gonna give these a shot. I wanna say that they are going to resell for about maybe 40 to 50. Looking them up, they went, they ranged from 25 to like 80. So I'm gonna do some more research on those, but I just wanted to experiment and see how they did. So we shall see. These are some new attack J. Crew Remy. They're like a skinny slack. Just a career pant. Um, I got them because they are new attack. Cha-ching, and they were yellow tag, which is half off, which was $12.99, so they were $6.50, yeah. These will resell for, I wanna say, maybe 40, being new at tag. They are a six petite, so hopefully that doesn't um, keep people from buying them. Okay, this is a brand that I have seen lots of times, but I've never picked up because I guess I didn't really check comps that well. But from what I could see, I think that this brand sells really well and it sells at a very good price. Um, so these, the brand is called Shuts. Shoot, Shuts. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, but how freaking awesome are these? They're like a spiked, they have little spikes all over them. I thought they would be perfect for Halloween, A but also just like the best like rocker chick vibes I've ever seen. They're so cute. It's a patent leather. They're in really nice condition. They were originally $14.99 half off, so $7.50. They should resell for, I was kind of seeing comps ranging from like 40 to 75, upwards of 80 to some of the, not this exact style, but different heels by this brand. So we shall see. This is another experiment that I just kind of wanted to do. So that's it. That's my haul. Thank you. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> um, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you like my video, give it a thumbs up. That would be cool. So I know that people are watching and not just maybe watching the first couple minutes and then saying, this girl's weird. I'm going to not watch this anymore. So if you made it to the end, give me a thumbs up and I appreciate you and I will see you on the next one.